Hi, my name is Andrew Witkin. I was invited by the curators here at The Courier to do research and do an exhibition uh, based on The Courier. And so I am hoping that you watching this video would have interest in exploring what I've done, which is actually throughout the museum. Thank you very much for taking the time to look. I don't call myself an artist because I feel like that's something that other people call you. In this day and age with so many art schools and you can pay to go to art school and um, visual culture is so predominant and calling yourself an artist I feel like has a lot of weight and baggage to it. And for me, I don't reject it if somebody else calls me an artist, but I feel like I'm Andrew Witkin, and I do research, make projects and exhibitions and installations and performances, actions and all sorts of other things, but I don't call myself an artist. And I was wonderfully invited uh, by Nina, architecture of the building, uh, temporary and curator, found, and Megan, like, the who wiring as archivist and librarian, to come into the courier and explore the library and archives. That was the starting point, and it was entirely open ended. And what would come out of it, they, I don't think, had any idea, because I certainly didn't. Um, but it was a wonderful opportunity just to come um, for many days and just look, explore read, ask questions, and slowly different elements took form. I was originally looking towards doing an exhibition that was in a specific open room and would have works from the collection, that sort of thing. Um, but with some time and further exploration, I realized um, with amazing support and uh, additional challenges put forth by the museum to do something beyond that, to do something different from that. Um, and so it slowly went from being a few specific elements in one room to let's actually explore what happens if you use the whole museum as part of the work. So the project takes place in a good number of spaces throughout the museum. And one could wonder, how am I supposed to look through this? Or what is the proper order? How can I understand what the artist means? And I don't have specific answers for those questions. By placing the different elements in different places throughout the museum, I didn't want one order, one answer. It's really about each individual deciding, choosing, and acting on what they're interested in, which is how the project began. I'm often asked, what is, what is your work about? What is, what is this about? Um, and I think it's about uh, life. It's about looking and understanding the history of things, places, and people. Um, and not understanding the way that you know everything, but understanding in the sense that you have respect, you have a sense of the feel, and perhaps that you actually want to look and learn more. Uh, and that's what I really hope people get out of the project. So many people have made so many things, have taught so many things, have researched things, have helped other people do all of those activities as well. None of this would have been possible without all of those histories. We're in an age where people are looking at histories and trying to understand fuller stories. And for me, my appreciation is for the museum giving me the opportunity to explore a story that is in a web that involves the courier. And in order to do that are all the people who made that web, who built that web. And it's quite quite amazing wealth of talent that did so.